by surprise there. Who oh, of I thought he was going to ignore us for the whole evening. No, I'm interested in your well-being as well. The, uh, right down the front there, to look at this, you cheeky little bastards. Was it you that was in the, that, that I said hello to prematurely out the back? Oh, excellent, bro. Look, he's just sat there. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, because I could see I waved and you did. Oh, it was you. Hello there. Yeah, because I didn't realise that thing there, the kabuki thing that comes down, it had sort of, it had blown off like that. So I'm standing there scratching me bollocks out the back <laughs> there. Just standing there, da 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 And I looked down and I could just see you looking through the little hole <laughs> like that. I thought, I, I thought the thing was going to come down and it was going to come out and the whole room was just going to be all Muslim women. Well, that, which, uh, <laughs> that would have been a hell of a practical joke. If you lot had managed to pull that off, that would have been amazing. If, uh, I mean, it's a lot of work to go to. I mean, you know, converting to Islam and all that. And this shit is going to be out in like 20 seconds. Where are we going to get officially stamped the, um, stamped? I don't know. The, um, can you just do it like that? If you want to convert to Islam, can, look, some of you are going, <laughs> stop it right now. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I'm not being mean about, you know. Okay, <laughs> look at you. That's just a massive PC fit. Don't even say the word. <laughs> Don't talk about the, any of the because it can, with the and the on the floor and, and, but, but, and they might think that we're mean and, but we're not and we don't mean any harm and it's fine it's all right the uh, <laughs> no stop it the uh, I'm just wondering like if you is it you know if you what, what the hell was that somebody over there is going they just did you convert there and you, you just, I've gone oh, 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 oh. The, uh, instantly, the, uh, no, do you need to get stamped or do you just, do you just like go, oh, and you, poof, and it's just, and it's registered upstairs. The, uh, poof, right, you're one of ours. <coughs> oh, I just realised I pretended to be Allah there. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> <coughs> okay, that's an excellent start to the show, isn't it? Oh, good. Well, we might make it to the piss break, or I might be killed by extremists. The, um, oh, it's an interesting challenge tonight, isn't it? Any extreme fundamentalists, go! Run! Quickly! Get help! Get help! Sorry, I've confused Muslim fundamentalists with Lassie. The, um... <laughs> There's a hell of a show waiting to be made, isn't it? Lassie, the Muslim fundamentalist. The, uh, what's that? What's that? Maybe a bit muffled it more. The, uh, oh no, Lassie was a boy, wasn't it? Lassie, the dog. The, the, I'm not sure whether you lot are freaking out or whether you're just going, you're on your own, Ross, to be honest. I, I couldn't possibly get involved in such. Things, or you genuinely don't know about? No, Lassie. I think Lassie was a was a it was a male dog that they pretended was. It's not that. Not that it matters. We couldn't, yeah, because that'll make all the difference to whether or not Lassie's wearing a burqa or not. Because that is going to make the film that you're planning slash TV show somewhat inaccurate. So the. <laughs> I think it was. It was a. Uh, am I? I tell you what, if you can all just stare at me, <laughs> we're still trying to work out how you convert. If it's, uh, if you just do it or you are stamped it, like a deputy, you know, like in the cowboy films, and they go, right, you're, right, you convert now, there's a badge, a little Muslim. I'll tell you what, shall I, shall I move away from religion as a, as a topic? I love that you're laughing, but not for, <laughs> why, why would you do so? Don't oh, shoot the messenger, they're the ones that dressed up as Muslim women down the front with the full on, the, the, uh, you fools to yourselves, you should have just got your coats and just pulled them up like that and then just pulled them, it's not the full burqa but it'll just, you know, it'll just, just relax for fuck's sake, it's just ideas, it's not, it's not, you know, not going to cause any hassle, the, um, 
Anyway, that defeats the purpose, doesn't it? If you pulled your coat up like that, and then, because that would, it would raise the coat at the back, <laughs> and you'd see your arse. The, um, that's sort of working against why they're doing it, aren't they? So, uh, you know, every time they started to walk, there'd be a little bit of, a bit of cheeky bum there. Uh, the, uh... Right, I've gone too far now, I've definitely, I've definitely gone too far. Right then, what other religions can we tear the fish out of? The, uh, oh, I'll tell you what, the Pope, good on him. Um, no, for fuck's sake. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop it now. Why not? I've, you know, I've started in this vein, and that's the way I'm going to continue. The, uh, it was, it was you that we have there. Excellent. That's the challenge now. That's the challenge. In fact, you, well, you could have done it quite well there, because you've got the full beard situation going on, and the long hair. So all you would need to do would be to bring that across there, <laughs> like that. And then that bit here, like that. <laughs> and that's, that's the perfect... Instant Muslim. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> it's new from Bachelors, Instant Muslim. Are you sick of having no religious direction in your life? Are you sick of spending your whole time with no concept of God, religion, or a way of following? Hi now, try the new Bachelor's Instant Muslim. Just add water, <laughs> then hair will grow across your face. So, uh, excellent. Well, we've got a theme for the night. That's good. The, uh, I like it. It's ironic, isn't it? Because you are fully Jesus, which I like. The, sorry, you're, is that your girlfriend with you there? No, oh, sorry about that. So I just said, is this your girlfriend? And she laughed hysterically. <laughs> As if to say, you idiot, I'm a Satanist. <laughs> He's the last person that I'd be going out with. The son of God, you're a fool. If he had a bright red face and was walking around going, ah, 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 I'd find him super sexy. The, um, <laughs> is that what gods find attractive? I'm looking for somebody who looks like Lucifer. The, uh, you've got a red face and walk around. Ah, ah, ah. Essentially, what you're looking for, if you're a goth, is somebody with um, terrible... What? Not Satan! Oh, sorry. I've, I've got an arsey goth down the front. <laughs> What are the chances? There, that's much a not Satan! Yeah, I know. The, the red face, is that uh, somebody with a dodgy spine and high blood pressure? <laughs> See, that's what you need to do. If you've got a dodgy back, instead of getting a stick and make, you know, the, every cloud, you know. <laughs> That's no, that's the way, isn't it? Just have a, you know, if you start to simply put your arms out to the side and go, instead of, oh, oh my back's really... <laughs> Use uh, detergents and, um, just wait. <laughs> what? The, uh, no, detergents and, uh, oh, have I spat on me? Thanks for telling me. I gobbed on my own chin <laughs> in the front row all side going, this is gobbed on his own chin. Thanks. I just sat here like a dribbling fool. <laughs> oh dear. The uh, no detergents and um, uh, soaps that are particularly aggressive towards the skin that bring it out in quite a rash, a red rash, and then couple that with your dodgy spine. <laughs> and then instant Satan. Hot for goths. <laughs> hot for goths. It's an excellent new website you can. Uh, Hotforgoths.com with horny goths. The uh, so no, you're not into. Are you a goth? Are you classed as a goth? Oh yeah, very, very proud of your gothiness. Oh, oh, and a punch of the air. Oh, goth power. It's sort of, oh, and one of them. Oh, you're changing vigorously. And all to put put you You're like the Ted Rogers of the goth world. <laughs> the, uh, the, the, sorry, there's young people going, who the fuck's Ted Rogers? <laughs> who is that? Who is the Ted Rogers? I've never heard of such a man. Isn't he that bloke from outer space that had the little silver friend? <laughs> 
No, that was Buck Rogers. Um, isn't he that cowboy that used to ride around with his faithful horse, Trigger? No, that was Roy Rogers. <laughs> now I'm narrowing it down, aren't I? Look at that. I'm going to get more and more specific until there's just one pensioner up the back. She's going, this is the best show I've ever been to. <laughs> It's these sort of references that I like. Oh, Mr. Biden. <laughs> the, oh, it's the pensioner came towards you there. The pensioner reared in anger. The, uh, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> is it the popular dance partner of Fred Astaire? Mm. It was Ginger. <laughs> One person up in the back. <laughs> One person. I did not think that this evening's show would have references to the popular dancing lady, Ginger Rogers. <laughs> the, um, <laughs> the, yeah. The, oh, look, it's a, it's a double-edged sword, this, because most of you are going, I'm glad he's not talking about the Muslims anymore. <laughs> But at the same time, I was sitting there going, is the rest of the show going to be about famous people called Rogers? <laughs> Ross, is it, the, is it the fella who, when he was young, appeared in the uh, original Oliver film, going, thank you very much, thank you very much, it's the nicest thing that anyone's ever done for me. Not Oliver, uh, Christmas Carol, was it? <laughs> yeah. Confusing. So anyway, it was Anton Rogers, but let's not let's not go there. <laughs> Sorry, this <laughs> is students now. Who the fuck's Anton Rogers? Doesn't matter. The uh, well, it, it, it does if you're a fan of Anton Rogers. It certainly does matter. I've devoted a lot of time to that website. Devoted a fan site to the work of Anton Rogers. Although I didn't care for May to December. Oh, look at one person. <laughs> this is what I do. If you've not seen me before, I'll be entertaining each one of you individually. <laughs> That's the plan. I just, I, I work my way slowly up to the back of the room. It's bizarre that I got to the pensioner quite so early. <laughs> but, you know, I do sort of hair care, hippie related, beardy type stuff for him. Then we move on to her. And then the goth, you've had your turn. <laughs> The, uh, no, so the, uh, <laughs> I love the fact there is genuine teenagers just looking at me, just going, can you just do some jokes about Lady Gaga? <laughs> uh, no, I hate ya! <laughs> oh, blimey, that was a bit much, wasn't it? I shouted at that and there seemed to be a, Wah! I hate ya! <sighs> I think I might have unlocked the demon. <coughs> Might want to turn that down a touch. <laughs> the, sorry, I was saying that to me. Uh, to, I was saying that to me stage manager. I wasn't talking to the octopus. Brilliant. <laughs> 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 you look at me like, is he mad? <laughs> Does he think that that octopus is in some way... What, is that like his assistant? He just sits there at the side of the stage. Might want to turn that down a little bit, octopus. <laughs> the octopus... Oh, he's turned around. He can't even see his face. Hang on, I'll turn him. There you go. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, but look at him just sat there smiling gormlessly. It's not actually helping, is he? He didn't scuttle off like that and go, hmm, I'll go and sort out that sound problem for you, Rob. <laughs> The, uh, and while I'm there, I'll get on the Google machine and find out all the different Rogerses. <laughs> the, it's a computer, not a Google machine. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he knows nothing. He's an aquatic fool. <laughs> the, um, <laughs> hanging around in the Sea Life Centre. He doesn't even live in the wild. <laughs> it's just, uh, I get on the Google machine. No, it's a computer. Anyway, so, but no, call it that from now on. Let's start that now. I'll just check on the Google machine. The, um, anyway, what was I talking about? The, um, oh yeah! The, ah! He's done it again. 
the Gaga, no, I hate the Lady Gaga, right? The, uh, I know it might seem irrational, the, uh, I know some of you are, what, what about the other major religions, Ross? Surely you should. <laughs> to, I was, yeah, I was going to tell you about the poor. The, um, oh, it's all to play for tonight, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, have I already started? Uh, I can just see one or two. For, well, uh, and he was, but, and then, but then uh, he was talking, and then he went off the, just relax, that will happen, right? <laughs> I'm just telling you now, if you've not seen me before, don't get hung up on any one particular thing. <laughs> just, I might tangent and then, but I could say, but you was on a tangent and then you're off that and then another one and it's looking like a tree. <laughs> just it's be fine. Think of me like a comedy squirrel. I'll leap from branch to branch. <laughs> That works, doesn't it? That, as I said that, I went, that makes no sense at all. And you all went, ah, oh, that's fine. Yeah. Are <laughs> you, oh, you all right down there? Oh, what the, oh, I said I was a comedy squirrel and you were you just putting something on the floor. Yeah, it just looked like you were getting in the brace position. <laughs> Sorry, I thought, I thought you were going, oh shit, I've got not allergies, Ross. <laughs> I was told that the show would contain no mention of <laughs> or contain squirrels or squirreling in any way. The uh, squirreling, yes, that's, uh, that's what they do all day long. What are you up to, Mr. Squirrel? Mainly squirreling. <laughs> the, uh, that's, uh, was it there, could you? I don't know. If you had an allergy to nuts, could you pat a squirrel? Fear from, you know, safe from. It's hard to know. They touch nuts, but, you know, I don't think it would hang around in the... I mean, they'd probably stay clear of the arse area, obviously. <laughs> or, once a nut has passed through a squirrel, does it neutralise its killing power? <laughs> Fuck it, shall we find out tonight? <laughs> the... <laughs> oh, God, where's Johnny Ball when you need him? <laughs> oh, there we go again. <laughs> I, d I don't, don't know how that is. <laughs> the, uh, what a hell of a, no, sorry, is that, did that go over? Oh, it's great. A young lad in the second row did a gen, not just a, I don't know, but an actual proper. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a, whoa. The, uh, so, the, the Johnny Ball? You know Zoe Ball? Yeah? Well, her dad, right? Her dad used to, um, kill people with nuts. <laughs> He did evil experiments. Um, he, would la he would kidnap people and he would tie them to the floor, to a grill or similar device, and, um, I mean, not hard. The, um, sometimes he would just put breeze blocks on their loose clothing. The... <laughs> what? Sorry, I just thought, it's, you can't, like, it's kind of libelous to say that Johnny Ball would tie people down. That's quite mean, but if he wasn't actually tying them, if he was just restraining them with, just like, like that, just with a cuff, and then a bit of a, just a heavy breeze block there, so they couldn't quite move, but he used to dress them in 70s clothing, uh, flares and the like, and then place breeze blocks either side of their legs, and on there as well, and on other similar loose garments, and then he would get a squirrel, Sorry, I've just realised that now I'm going to have to say that Johnny Ball would get a squirrel to shit on someone with a nut on it. And all the good work that I did there by placing breeze blocks and not having them tied up, he's, that's gone and spoiled it all, hasn't he? That's what he used to do. He'd have like ten people, all with nut allergies, and then he'd just squeeze the squirrels. <laughs> The, uh, <laughs> yeah, used to work at the Tate Modern. <laughs> and it'd probably get in, wouldn't it, <laughs> if you wrote to the Tate Modern. Dear Tate Modern, I have an idea for an installation piece. I would like to dress up as Johnny Ball, get ten people with nut allergies, and restrain them with breeze, breeze blocks and 70s clothing, and then squeeze squirrel pool onto them. <laughs> and then... <laughs> <laughs> Dear sir, having contemplated your idea for an art installation, please, fuck off. <laughs> you are mental. 
And more to the point, we don't believe that that is art. We believe that your plan is to drop the poo on the faces of the restrained 70s people, allowing them to swell up and go all red, and then allow goths to come in and shag them. <laughs> it's an elaborate ruse by horny goths. It's a horny goth sex dungeon. Johnny Ball Squirrel Poo. Fraud. Ruse, indeed, it's a ruse. The, um... Okay, so, um... <laughs> what was he on about? Got confused. Yes, Lady Gaga. The problem I've got with... The... I'll get back to you as well, Goth. Don't you worry about that. Hey, what, what's your name, Goth? Sorry. Alison. Oh, devil. <laughs> I worship the Lord Satan. I bow down before the prince of the netherworld. I drink the blood of pure evil. What's your name, Alison? <laughs> <laughs> Alison? Oh, have you not changed it to, like, Ravenclaw Mandrill or something? <laughs> Ravenclaw Mandrill? I mean, Mandrake, that's what I was going to say. Ravenclaw Mandrill, Ravenclaw Mandrill. What's <laughs> that? It's the big funny first monkey. <laughs> Here he comes, Ravenclaw Mandrill. <laughs> Just a monkey with claws of a raven. He'd get no purchase at all, that Mandrill. A bloody nightmare would be like that. Somebody put that Ravenclaw mandrel on a treadmill. I've got raven claws. Have to use his tail to propel him. <laughs> Always thinking. So, Alison, what 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 do you do for a living, Alison? A stage doorkeeper! Ooh! The keeper of the door! Is that why you got the job? So you could sound all gothic. I am the woman who keeps the door of the uh, Prince of Wales Theatre, West End. <laughs> <coughs> the, oh, God, sorry. The, um, what, uh, what stage door do you keep? Don't keep it here, do you? And that's just going, yeah, to be honest, I've left it unattended. <laughs> I quite fancied seeing the show and I thought, bollocks, let people nick your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, sorry. Oh, hang on, I'll go mute me, Mike, what's it? <laughs> We're fine. So, the, sorry, I've got a shocking chest infection. Uh, look at you in the front row. Oh, great, now he tells us. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I don't know why I'm calling you the front row. Should be calling you the infected. <laughs> the, uh, no wonder you're dressing up as Muslims down the front there to hide the fact you're foaming from the. <laughs> Wanna be careful? She'll be shagging you if you're not careful. You're a lot like haunted ghouls. <laughs> <laughs> Rub their face with squirrel poo! Rub their faces! <laughs> the, uh, oh no, so we're... Are you the keeper of the door? Sorry, that was the bloke off the X Factor there. <laughs> the, uh, that doesn't work if you're trying to be all gothic. Tonight, in the world of the netherworld! <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> Jedward! <laughs> The, don't you? Uh, the, mmm! When's he ever done that? The from, mmm! Oh, yeah! I like it! What? He's locked himself in the voiceover booth. Oh, shit, the voiceover man's locked himself in there. He's drunk. Oh, that's right! I don't give a shit! It's a live show! I'd like to roll naked with one direction! <laughs> oh shit, force the door open! He's lost his mind, he's shouting stuff out! Hmm, I once touched myself in a library! 
He's pissed in the voiceover group. This is going out live on telly, talking about touching himself in the library. What section? Don't even ask! Reference! <laughs> the, uh, oh God, he's getting more and more drunk. That's what's missing from Saturday night telly. Pissed voiceover men locking themselves in the booth, just shouting nonsense. <laughs> Well, make me watch The X Factor, I'd love it. The, oh yeah, I'm in here now. I'm dipping my balls in guacamole. <laughs> oh my God, he's dipping his balls in guacamole. D does it matter what dip it is? <laughs> I don't know. Why, why is different? I don't know. Is that do we have a large Mexican viewership? That <laughs> they might find not the ball dip inoffensive. It might be, you know, that's a traditional Mexican dip. Oh shit, we didn't give them salsa, did we? <laughs> yes! I'm in here right now, dipping my other ball in salsa! <laughs> I'm not sure how we do that, to be honest. <laughs> Because traditionally, one testicle, I, I mean, I might be sharing too much, but, but one testicle tends to be lower than the other. It tends to, the, the look at you. <laughs> no? <laughs> the, the, no, it is the, traditionally, the traditionally, oh. Are you planning for a traditional Christmas? <laughs> yes, I am. I've deliberately placed one of my testicles lower than the other. Yes, it's best to be traditional. Mm, I'm having difficulty trying to lower both balls into dip at the same time. One of my balls is lower than the other. It seems to be hitting the guacamole a lot quicker than the salsa. I have to have a testicle lift. <laughs> Is there such a thing? Can you have a... No, that's going too far. <laughs> if you did go to a plastic surgeon and have your balls lifted, tightened in and smoothed out, <laughs> it'd look like Louis Walsh. <laughs> A man who looks more like a testicle than... The, mm, the, uh, do you think Ross is going to stop doing this now? <laughs> it's kind of freaking me out a little bit. No, I think he looks like he's enjoying himself. I think this could go on for, say, 20 or 30 minutes. <laughs> That's right! I'm stuck in the booth! My balls are covered in dip! And now, I'm ready to make love! <laughs> oh, uh, what, that's where I went too far, is it? It's fine for a bloke to get pissed and start dipping his balls in salsa and guacamole, but at the point that he was gonna make love, you oh no. <laughs> there was an audible, oh, oh, why would you? <laughs> I bet I can make you go ooh even more. <laughs> I'm about to make love to Susan Boyd! <laughs> oh, you've gone too far now. <laughs> Making sexual love to Susan Boyle. Hey, would you like to make love to me? <laughs> oh, come on. I'm very aroused. <laughs> Would you like to make sweet love to me? Yes! I'm loving it! Oh yeah! I'm making love to Susan Boyle on a big pile of dirty cats! <laughs> that's... that's how she does it, Susan Boyle. Yeah, she, she doesn't have a bed. She just has a big pile of dirty cats. Would you like to make love to me on a big pile of dirty cats? Look at all the 
dirty, dirty cats. Come on, me love to me. Oh, wipe the guacamole off your balls. It's time for love making. Oh yeah! I dreamed a dream of time. Okay, so... Uh... <laughs> oh, no! I think she's starting to spawn! <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to see how far I could put you there. The, uh, no, she doesn't give birth to her. Her face opens. <laughs> and a sort of a snake-like thing comes out. And it's got a smaller face of Susan Boyle. The top <laughs> half is Susan Boyle and the bottom half is a cat. <laughs> I made that up, that last bit. <laughs> the, oh yes, Alison, the stage doorkeeper. Do you remember? Look, well done. No. <laughs> we, we don't know what's going on anymore. Else. We're enjoying ourselves, but we're a, a little bit frightened. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, so which stage door do you... Sorry, I forgot to mention, we'll have a pit, not now, but we will have a piss break, because I can tell some of you are just going, I don't know if I can handle this for 12 hours. <laughs> or did I not tell you that's how long the show is? <laughs> 12. <laughs> that, that's value for money, but I can't. I can't no, it's not. <laughs> it genuinely went, oh shit, I've got a babysitter. <laughs> There's a recession on, Ross, I can't afford to pay her by the hour. <laughs> the, just relax, by the time I'm finished, the kids will have grown up and moved away. <laughs> That'll be fine. The, um, the <coughs> oh, God. Oh, that's pleasant. It's an evening with a Victorian urchin. Mmm, <laughs> 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 it's Ross Noble's showbiz tuberculosis extravaganza. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I love the fact that you both get your. He's got his bloody hat on and bloody knitted gloves down the front there. He's got his knitted hat on. It's a full on. Oh, it's long. I'm half expecting to look off the front of the stage there and just see a load of little huskies. Just uh, <laughs> The, uh, oh, you freaked me out there. He's so cold, he's taken his jacket and he's placed it over his legs. <laughs> like a skirt. <laughs> that was lovely. I was looking for the imaginary huskies and you're like the least, like, like the least uh, sort of uh, obvious transvestite I've ever seen in my life. Just, just blokey bloke there and then over there, hmm, <laughs> lovely skirt. Or is that your emergency Muslim outfit? <laughs> just at any moment you just go, <laughs> it's just ready for action. Anyway, the, uh, so, yes, yeah, so where are you the stage doorkeeper of? Oh, the Criterion. Oh, the one opposite the thing with the, the thing. Oh, how does he do it? <laughs> is it? Yeah, of course it's opposite. Everything is opposite a thing. Otherwise, it would exist in a space and time that doesn't... a wormhole. <laughs> it's near a thing. The, yes, Eros. That's, yeah. Oh, I see. What's on at uh, the Criterion at the moment? I haven't been that way for a while. Two shows? Bloody hell! Just <laughs> do a bit of plugging while you're here. <laughs> what, what you got? 39... Oh, that's right, yeah. Just for... Peppa Pig's party? Oh, Bruce, what the fuck are we doing here? <laughs> Come on, let's go now! Oh my god, you've got the pigs in! Peppa Pig's party! Oh my god, I can't believe it! Ding 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 Bastard little pigs in my fucking mind every fucking day! I've got a child. Um, the, uh, 
fucking pigs! Ding, 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 and on the news today, the puppets in Peppa Pig's party were vandalised with knives. Ah, oh, you'll join me. Oh, God, could you imagine if we got caught? I can see the headlines now, cos I, I look a tad gothic myself at times if they just found us standing there in the darkness, a light shining up at us with knives stuffing everywhere. Just, just the, the pepper pigs all over the floor. Me standing there, maniacally laughing with an orange in my hand. <laughs> the, uh, no, they freak me out, them pigs. The, uh, no, I've got a human baby child, right? And, uh, yeah, I do. The, uh, I know that's freaking some of you out, isn't it? Oh, God, he's responsible for the human beings. The, no, let me explain. My wife and I have got this sort of arrangement, right? What is, she's in charge of the whole, you know, keeping it alive. <laughs> it's her job over here. And I do uh, silly dancing and uh, daft faces. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, reading from Peppa Pig's fucking comic. <laughs> Peppa Pig, Daddy. Peppa Pig, Daddy, please, please, Daddy. Pe Peppa Pig, please, please, Daddy. Peppa. If you are you allowed to say fuck in front of a two-year-old? <laughs> I'd see that. But if you don't know Peppa Pig, so sorry. <laughs> now all the young people are going, well, now we're talking. <laughs> None of that Ginger Rogers bullshit. Now he's talking about stuff that we grew up on. The, uh, if you don't know Peppa Pig, I don't mind the, the pigs, actually. In, you know, in the small doses and that. The, uh, but they, they just, they, it's a weird cartoon, because they, they sort of, they always, Get the drone from. I know this is a. The, what? What are you trying to say? Let me explain. They, they're drawn from the side and they've got their eyes here. So they're always like. They all, they're sort of, it's the weirdest perspective on any cartoon. So every time you do anything, you know, Pepper's like, can we jump in muddy puddles? Of course we can, Pepper. And you <laughs> They never go forward at anything. That'd be quite handy when we're attacking the pigs. Because if we go towards them like that, they'll be going, oh, shit. And they won't be able to charge us. We'll have to, we'll have to make sure, if we get them in a the corridor, they're fucked. That's the plan. Trying to wrangle the pigs into the corridor. And uh, then bloody Mr. Potato will turn up in that car, run us both over, and then we're fucked. I know that didn't mean anything to most of you, but when you do have a, a human baby child, or you're at a friend's house and the pigs come on, the potato will arrive and you'll go, <laughs> Probably best not tell them why you're laughing. Because if you've got a friend's child that comes up to you and goes, why are you laughing at Mr. Potato because of the funny things that he does? Don't turn around, especially if you're a goth, and go, No, I'm laughing because Ross said he was going to stab the pig. <laughs> and all of the friends. The, uh, <laughs> well, there's just blown my chance of getting a cameo. The, um, <laughs> I'd love to be in Peppa Pig. The, uh, <laughs> yeah, they're probably not doing that, just... He is, I don't know, uh, Ross the Rabbit. Come on. I will kill you all! <laughs> anyway, so the. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, yeah! The, the Pope! That's what I was telling you about! <laughs> no, did you see? Fair, fair play to the Pope. He's had a U turn, right? He's, he's, it's all good on the condoms now, so that's a. That's a, a, a bonus, isn't it? The, uh, did you sit on the paper? It's for years he's been, you know, kicking off with the whole, don't you put your cock in a balloon? Don't you put, if you put your cock in a balloon, you'll burn in hell! You'll burn in hell if you put your cock in a balloon! Don't you put your cock in a balloon, or the baby Jesus will be angry! The baby Jesus will leap out of the manger and kick you in the knees!
Like a little holy ninja flying through the air. A ninja ninja. And Jesus Christ, ninja ninja flying and kicking you in the knees. If you put your cock in a balloon, the baby Jesus will hate you. Which is ironic because all the priests were there. Just, uh, yeah, just a question. Is it alright if we put our cock in a choir boy? <laughs> yeah, of course it is. Of course it is. Help yourselves. I'll cover for you. <laughs> so, the, uh, what was I on about? Yes, Lady Gaga. Right. <laughs> Look at you lot now. Just tell us about Lady Gaga and we'll just have a piss break. All right, I will. The, uh, I don't get angry over much, but there's, I tell you what, tell you what is pissing me off though. <laughs> Shut up, show your faces. Well, it's bloody gone off again now. It's promised us a wee and then there's no wee coming. Relax the uh, well, was all relaxed, obviously. <laughs> tense, tense up for God's sake. The uh, no, the actually, you might want to start because it's quite chilly in here. You might want to. Are you all right down there? You just, you just with your hat on, you sort of slumped. <laughs> to, to be honest with you, with the flat cap on and the gloves, when you sort of went like that. I'm, I'm guessing it was just a <laughs> that went on a bit too long and he stayed down there. I just looked down, I saw the flat cap and the gloves and I thought, oh no, a pensioner has died. <laughs> well, you're just the last thing we want that. The, uh, shouldn't have stopped his heating allowance. The, uh, no, with, it, with the cold, if you are going to have a wee in the fist break, you might just, just start rubbing yourself now. Just, just <laughs> look. Oh, oh, no, no, I just mean to, to warm, I don't mean to... <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you think I am? I'm not just going to stand on stage going, rub yourself, that's it, come on. Rub yourself, come on, do it, do it now. Show me, show me, show me yourself rubbing yourself. Bloody hell. Anyway, but no, just, just get yourself... What I mean was, if it's, you might be iced up, so you might want to just... Okay, um, <coughs> oh, what's happened again? The, uh, no, I'm just, you know, because you don't want to, it's like the water freezing in the tubes, you don't want to... Okay, I'm not a qualified doctor, I'm just saying <laughs> that, um, <laughs> no, fellas, you want to be careful in this sort of weather, you might go for a piss and you, you might fire a sort of a, a piss dart out of the... <laughs> The, uh, uh, what the hell happened? Oh, I'm ever so sorry. I, I frozen in the tubes and I... And it's, and I uh, the, 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 that's a double-edged sword as well, is it? Because it, it would go in and you'd be going, Oh, God, I've got a piss dart in my neck. But at the same time, you'd be thinking, I hope it doesn't melt. Because that's the... You know, so that's all I'm saying. Give yourself a little... Just a little rub to the... Um, you ladies don't have to worry, do you? This, well, I don't know. <laughs> Just a block of piss comes out. Just go into the toilet. And... <laughs> no one saw. No one saw. <laughs> Get your mates with brushes, like on the curling. On the... <laughs> The, yeah, but if you don't rub, that'll, you know, you want to block. <laughs> oh, God, there's going to be people in the toilets with, up in stirrups like that, trying to give birth to an ice baby. <laughs> oh, what, too far again? Oh, no. There's an ice baby. Is that what Vanilla Ice was singing about in that song? <laughs> do, 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 ice, ice baby. Do, 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 do. Yeah, he was singing about chilly London nights and women who haven't adequately warmed their exterior bladder. Their exterior bladder. <laughs> warmed the bladder from the outside. An exterior bladder. This on your back like a hunch. Not gonna get caught again this winter. I've got an exterior bladder. Dum, 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 dum. 
Okay, so... <laughs> Bloody Lady Gaga, that's what I was telling you about. How long is it taking him to get to this? Some time for a piss break and it's bloody... No, Bloody Lady Gaga, right? This is what I've got a problem with her, right? She's a bloody plagiarist, Lady Gaga. I turned on the telly, right? Turn on the MTV Music Awards, and there she was, Bloody Lady Gaga I was furious, right? She was on there, right? Accepting an award, and she had meat on her face. <laughs> she had meat on her face. That was my idea. That was my idea. She stood there, the cheeky plagiarist. I'd like to thank. I'd like to thank all my fans for giving me this incredible honor and MTV for this award. <laughs> cheeky bitch! You cheeky cow! Bloody plagiarist. She's probably in here tonight. She's probably up the back with a notepad and pencil, writing all this down. Next MTV Music Awards, you mark my words, Lady Gaga, they'll go, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I dreamed a dream, shut up, Susan! <laughs> Lady Gaga! And she'll come out like that, you know, <laughs> she'll be like, don't call my name, don't call my name, Harry Andrew. <laughs> A big block of ice will fall out there like that. She'll be dancing around. Dancers coming on dressed as Peppa Pig. Sideways like that. She'll be stabbing them randomly. Die, pig, die! Die, die, pig, die! And she'll be laughing. Ha, 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 ha! Ha, 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 ha! And then she'll pull a lever and a dress similar to his will rise up there, covering her eyes. Can't read my, can't read my, no, you can't read my Muslim face. <laughs> anyway, listen, go on out and push me up, do a hot and down, say that for a few minutes, Second half of show. How was your piss break? Was it all right? Yeah. Yes, lovely. Oh, you comfy there? Yeah, why not utilize the stage area as a rudimentary uh, seating? Uh, wow, the uh, fancy shoes. The, uh, what you've done is you've bought yourself a pair of shoes that have got intricate patterns on the soles, and you've obviously thought to yourself, Oh shit, I'm never gonna get to show off them fancy shorts. <laughs> You've sat down in here and gone, I can't believe me look. <laughs> I'll boast about my expert cobbling. The, um, is that cobbling? No, the, uh, as you knocked it together yourself. So, um, oh God, I don't know where to start. There's a fine line between gift and just shit. <laughs> I mean, that's a lovely gesture. Step away from the pie. <laughs> Slightly worrying. I lifted up a, a simple pie and the hell's going on down there? Those lasses there were clearly the ones that put the pie on the stage. And when I lifted it, cheered in the acknowledgement. But I don't why are you going, hey ho, hey? Are you Mr. Kipling? <laughs> of course, you wouldn't be able to answer me directly, would you? You would have had to get because Mr. Kipling, you never hear him spoke. It was always, Mr. Kipling and I were enjoying a fine cake of an afternoon. Who are you? Where's Kevin? <laughs> it's always fine everywhere. Mr. Kipling and I was cricket on the green. I turned to Mr. Kipling. I don't give a shit. This is his advert. And a lazy fucker can't be asked to get out and make up his own cakes. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Tell him in London. Start using terms like make up. Bring up your kids, Mr. Kipling! <laughs> I don't, so yeah, you would have to be the friend of Mr. Mr. Kipling would like to inform you that he enjoys the use of his fine pastries in your evening of culture. <laughs> All right, don't laugh at the use of the word evening of culture. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> evening of culture, <laughs> silly twat. <laughs> the, um, no, you're, you're, a, you're a fan of the, uh, of the pastry item? A little bit, but it's enough to go. Hey! 
The, uh, no. Oh, you've changed your mind. That's weird. Hey! Well, a little bit. No, I hate the cakes. It's everything that I stand against. Uh, why, the cheer for the cake, then? Just excited. You just show up the door to it. Oh, just, <laughs> sorry, that is a bit, a bit weak. It's, it's all new to you. Oh, God, have you come straight from a Red Cross camp? <laughs> have, you been, have you been brought in and that the, uh, it's all new to you? What, seeing big hairy Geordie blokes lifting a cake? <laughs> lifting a simple tart? Sorry, when I say simple tart. <laughs> For God's sake, let's not go into that. Oh God, he's, he's found a simple tart. He's, he's, he's found a prostitute with learning difficulties. Don't, 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 that's not nice. The, uh, allow me to lift this simple tart. <laughs> I'll suck your balls. No, no, come on, come on. It's not right. The, <laughs> Oh, no, we're too far. Oh, something bold. The, yes, she will! <laughs> no, 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 let's stop that. Sorry. The, um, no, that's, I like, I do like, I like the fact that you've, you're excited and seeing a man lifted, to be honest with you, I am aware that I look like a homeless person. And that, that's, you, you, you must love your life. Do you just get a friend to walk along throwing out pastries <laughs> in doorways? And when the homeless person goes to, uh, hey! This is saving me a fortune on theater tickets. <laughs> but, uh, what, what's your name, my excitable pastry friend? What? Alan, Alan, hello, Alan. The, and what do you do for a living, Alan? Oh, in IT, in the, in the, in the what the hell is that? <laughs> the, that's me, uh, that's me, that's not how I operate a computer. That's, I, I, I do the, the Twitter uh, on the, it's more like that, yeah. That's, that's me on me, it's me on my iPhone, tweeting. It might be, it might not be, it could be anything. That could be me shampooing some hamsters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh, I'm getting them clean, I'm getting those rodents clean. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, frothy, frothy. Oh, super frothy. I do that sometimes if there's a load of kids just, you know, texting and that. I'll just stand on the end of the line like that. Just not, uh, you want me to see texting? No. Shampooing rodents. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got a dirty gerbil? Um, don't, don't you, don't, don't you dare! Don't you, ha, ha, don't, you, I, you'll be out. I'll put you out. If we have any talk of that. Mm, that's typical, huh, aren't they? Walking along, hanging around at bus stops, asking school kids if they've got a dirty gerbil. <laughs> that, that is the most offensive thing I've ever heard in my entire life. No. The, uh, I did get in trouble actually on when I was uh, on the tweet. The uh, not in a Manford way. In a, um, the uh, I've got an iPhone, right? And I don't care. I know some of you. Uh, by the way, I'll get to all this in a minute. I know some of you a little bit OCD. Just shut the cut. Clean it up. <laughs> Clean it up, Ross. There's too much shit on the stage. The um, I will. The uh, do us a favour, Alan. Remember the uh, the Twitter. I, I, I'll tell you about that in a minute. And my iPhone as well. The I'll I'll tell. Oh God! Look at it. It's too much. Too much to remember. The, could you work out some sort of basic program that you could that could log? That you could. That'd be handy actually. Could you plug into my neck? <laughs> like a robot? For God's sake! Oh yeah. The uh, give him a tracky <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wrong. Anyway, the, what sort of IT do you do? Oh, networking. Oh, well, uh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah that, very good. You go in and check if the net's working. Is that what you do? <laughs> walk in. Bleep. Oh, Google. Lovely. Job done. <laughs> Net's working. Lovely. <laughs> 
and bugger all about computers. Are you going to go and see Tron? Yep. It's about the limit of my knowledge on the subject there. <laughs> Only an IT boy would punch the air as if the same way that the goth punched in 3-2. It's amazing what different people will punch the air for, isn't it? Some people for political reasons. Yeah, fight it! Her down there, got power! Oh, Tron. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, a defiant. Salute there. At least I hope that's what you're doing. You could be fisting a giraffe. <laughs> it's never... No, that's. No, no. That's no way to celebrate the release of a blockbuster, is it? <laughs> There's a new Harry Potter! <laughs> nonchalant way that the giraffe just, he just slowly started to walk away there. Not bothered that he'd clenched his arse around the, the wrist of an over-enthusiastic IT consultant. <laughs> They're a proud creature. You know, a lot of creatures would be like, <laughs> not the giraffe, he takes it in his stride. Just, moves the neck would swear, just a touch, just a, nonchalant the giraffe. Feel free to... Okay, so... Um... <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Down at London, so Ross said it was all right. <laughs> the... Uh... Oh, God. oh, God, I'll tell you about giraffes as well, actually. Um, no, well, not really the giraffes, more... I was in Africa, right? And uh, I'm a little bit lucky to... No! Tidy up the shit on the stage! People twitching like that, washing their hands. I can't do it, I can't do it. <laughs> That's thought it out. <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, you see, think of it right. Do us a favour, Jesus. Can you remember Africa? <laughs> the, um, the, sorry, I thought. <laughs> Once I got nailed up, I can't remember anything. I was in a cave for a while. Or... Um, no, the, um, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, um, was I? Uh, really? No, I don't know. <laughs> touch the pie, touch the pie. <laughs> the, <laughs> no, I'll tell you what it is, right? I've got, like, uh, OCD in reverse. <laughs> it's like if, if I say, oh, what's going on down there? Just a tip, right? If you're going to have a chat, right? Hello. Hi. Just a tip, right? If you get... Well, two things. One, I can see you. I'm actually here. Right? <laughs> it's not the telly. It's... The quality's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> amazing. The 3D special effects! <laughs> it's amazing! The, uh, I'll do that. If, if you start chatting again, I'll just run towards you. And you go, three days back on again. <laughs> Tron's in 3D. <laughs> <laughs> the, no, just a tip for you, right? If you are going to turn to your mate and start having a bit of a chitty chit chat, right? Just bear in mind, you are wearing an enormous fuck off bobble hat. <laughs> I mean, some people, I mean, to be honest, you, you can, there's a woman over there with pink hair, somewhat drawing my attention. And the only way that you can sort of up the ante on the pink hair is, I don't know, dress as one of the flumps. <laughs> Unless you genuinely are Boodle sat down there, the whole of the flump family 
Sorry, teenagers are Oh, the fuck are they from? <laughs> They're a 90s Indies band. The, um, very popular. The, um, <laughs> bring on the flumps. The, uh, they had an unusual sound, I don't know if you remember. <laughs> Bit slow, mainly on the tuba. Um, <laughs> I don't get that. Anyway, the um, yeah. So listen up, Poodle. What, uh, what what were you saying to your mate there? Oh, lovely. Thank you, madam. <laughs> Somebody being interfered with up there. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Somebody randomly just on their own in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> What are you laughing at? He's nearly called us yet meat. He's on the... <laughs> Suit yourself. The, uh, no, what were you saying to your mate there? The tar, the pie is from us. We wanted you to touch the pie again. <laughs> oh, fuck, touch the pie. Touch the pie. The, um, oh, that, well, that's a, a lovely, a lovely gift that you've given me there. I always find it's best not to eat unsealed foods. <laughs> we've, we've had the odd incident. <laughs> um, oh, see, and when you say it's from, from you, is it from the whole group or? Oh, the whole group got to be. He put it on the stage. Oh, I see, so you've all got your part to play. <laughs> oh, I see. But you were the mastermind of the, of the pie presentation, the, uh, the crusty pastry philanthropy. You were the, you were the, uh, the instigator of the pastry philanthropy. The, uh, oh no, that was him as well, was it? Sounds like you had bugger all to do with it. <laughs> Sounds to me like you're sat quite near a man who gave me a pie and you're riding his pastry glory. <laughs> You need to take a long, hard look at your life. <laughs> I'd start with the hat, to be fair. Yeah. I mean, I like it. I like it. You know, I, I, I like a pom-pom, because it's, you know, it's, it's like, you know, it's like you've got, I want a knitted hat, but this, it's not finished. Just need a little extra, just a little bit on the top there. It's a lovely, lovely thing. The, uh, and there's another random... <laughs> Is she moving? Is she falling off the balcony? <laughs> Is there just a pissed woman staggering? Ha 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 Oh shit, are you alright, love? Oh god, she's broken her spine. <laughs> Pretend you're the devil. <laughs> That was wrong, that, that move to the hips there. <laughs> so I'll continue along those nights. Oh, I see. So how do you know these other people that uh, you embarked on the pie? On the pie. Oh, that's your brother, is it? Oh, I see. Uh, you give me the... Oh, you give her the hat. Good God. It's unbelievable. The most generous man alive. <laughs> or a shoplifter trying to get rid of the goods. <laughs> Have that, have a pie, have a hat. <laughs> oh, I see. And where did you acquire the hat of mystery? Oh, very funny. So where did you get that from? He went, from the networking guy on the left. See what you cleverly did, you dragged him into your world of, <laughs> of thievery. Excellent. Have you ever met him before? Probably not. You might have done online. <laughs> He's probably a a, 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 a busty board housewife. <laughs> no idea. Anyway, a busty board housewife. Oh, God, I made myself laugh now. Right then. I'm slightly fearful to go near the pie, to be honest. What happened to the rest of the pies? You ate them. Look, what a, what a lovely image that is. We're off to the theatre. Let's, pa let's buy pies for the journey. <laughs> How delightfully Dickensian. Right. Hey, somebody else is cheering. Probably just going, thanks, fuck that pie's gone. <laughs> I shall pop it under the octopus for safekeeping. <laughs> oh, well, 
well done to you people for applauding me, shoving a pie under an octopus. Let's hope David Attenborough doesn't get any ideas. <laughs> and, and the viewing figures for my latest undersea planet have dropped. What I'm thinking of doing is getting a big Mr. Kipling's, <laughs> shoving it up an octopus's ass. <laughs> Some octopus just swimming along. <laughs> sort of tin foil wrapper. <laughs> Look at that, despite the fact he's had a pie up his ass, still smelling. <laughs> hasn't, hasn't affected him at all. <laughs> so. <laughs> You've killed him! You've put tin foil into his natural environment and now he's dying! I think we should all learn an important lesson from what's happened here. Yeah, that's right, this show's all about ecology. Sorry. <laughs> Can I just point out to all of you that went, ah, not a real octopus. <laughs> It's like, oh, I had a poorly locked a puss. He's had a pie put up his ass. Now he's dying! No, it's just a piece of plastic. Hang on a sec. If it matters that much to you, hang on. I'll bring him back to life with voodoo magic. <laughs> Somebody went, <"Ey!" laughs> Yeah, it really is voodoo magic. Hang on a sec. If I can have That was a good idea, Ross. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> oh, shit. Holumbuya, 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 What's that? What did you shout? Don't, don't... Don't sue the octopus. Well, he's not very good with no win, no fee. <laughs> Hello there. Welcome to the... We are injury lawyers for you. Have you suffered from an accident at work? Has a fellow employee, colleague or boss shoved a pad <laughs> in its full tin foil casing into your anus. <laughs> Welcome back, madam. You've really come in at the right moment there. <laughs> Good luck trying to work out what I'm talking about. She walked through them doors and back to her seat just as I went, has anyone shoved a pie <laughs> in its tin foil casing directly into your anus? Is she talking to me? <laughs> the, uh, we are injury lawyers for you. What was that voice? We are injury lawyers for all you, that's right. Injury Daleks for you, by the sound of things. Where have you been? <laughs> what a comprehensive answer that was. Simply look at me, point your chin down and go... <laughs> oh, well, why didn't you say you communicate through chin movement? <laughs> no, where, where... where have you been? Where do I think you've been? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Would you like me to give you uh, the, the, the polite answer? <laughs> or would you like me to uh, be mean to you as a response to your slightly arsey... Because <laughs> to be honest with you, I, I'm not a mean person. I don't have a mean bone in my body. I, I would, if I was, like, I'm only asking and... You know, I presume you've been to use the conveniences, but 
What, but what with me giving you ample convenience using time, <laughs> I, I feel that being seated for the second half of this evening's Estedford would be... Uh... <laughs> oh. Would be respectful to myself and my dying octopus friend. <laughs> I didn't expect some sort of fucking RC London comment. <laughs> like we'd met on the tube and I'd said, Are you having a nice day? Fuck off, Northern Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> Just. Because <laughs> the thing, if I was a mean bastard, which I'm not, when you go, Oh, where do you think I've been? I would have said, To a shit scarf shop. <laughs> that's, what have, that's what I would have said. No, but I didn't. I didn't. I didn't, cos I'm not mean. <laughs> when you said that, bang, first thing that came into my head, I could have gone, bang! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> well, just bear in mind, if you do get arsy with me, I usually store that sort of thing away in favour of friendliness. I'm a fool to myself. <laughs> mind you, right, I tell you what, Somebody shouted at me, and sometimes, sometimes, you know when somebody not only tries to be aggressive, but is a bit of a dickhead with it, right? I, I sometimes don't hold back on the four or five things that straight away come to my head, right? Do you know people talk about that thing of, like, somebody says something, and then on the bus home, or, like, later, they think of the thing, and then go, oh, I wish I'd said that, right? Normally, I think of it straight away, and go, thump, and go, Fuck, I wish I hadn't said that. <laughs> but I said this, I didn't even think. I was doing a gig where if you... This is a little bit rude, so you, if you're easily offended, right? I couldn't help myself, the bloke was a right dickhead. He saw... Cos you might not be able to see down here, yeah? you lot. It's a treat for you, an extra... But see all this white markings on the stage, right? Some dickhead just goes, Oi, Ross! Right? Cos I call this me... <laughs> Thank you, sir. The... Uh, well, all this, right, you know, making the effort, and the bloke up the top, he goes, Ross! I go, what? And he goes, Did your octopus come on the stage? <laughs> There's no need for that. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I couldn't help it. I had to say, I said, No, you've confused the stage with your mum's face. <laughs> you know, you just, it's, You know when something's already you go boom, bang, bang! Oh, oh no! He wasn't happy. <laughs> Neither was his mum, she was in. The... <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. The... <laughs> it's good for the skin. I just wanted what? Oh no, that's too far. We don't mind the image of an octopus spunking on someone's mum. But... But don't make it real. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> yes, just as well. You wouldn't want to be in boots. And there's just uh, just one of them women with the makeup on, you know, that massive me, just holding an octopus. Like. <laughs> Is your mum about? <laughs> no. <laughs> because she's worth it. <laughs> That doesn't, yeah, is that not just me or does that? Cheryl Cole, I mean, who doesn't love Cheryl Cole, you know? Oh, stop. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck yeah. But that whole business, because I'm worth. I mean, it, I mean, to be fair, the advert should have been malaria medication because it's worth. That's what it should have been. But, the, oh, oh no. <laughs> Terrible. Cheryl's lovely. Yeah, but the point is, is that when she does them L'Oreal adverts, right, and she's giving it all that, like when Aniston did it, it made sense, because she's American, and she's all, hey there, because I'm worth it. Cheryl Cole sounds exactly like the lasses I used to go to school with, <laughs> and that freaks me out. I'm expecting that to go, eee, L'Oreal, how fucking much? <laughs> eee! Hey, I'm not paying that for fucking shampoo, like. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Newcastle, right? I was over in Newcastle, and I genuinely heard Johnny women can just get angry over the weirdest things, just explode over this woman, right? She was standing in the street, hey, 
is shocking, shocking, is shocking, shocking, is shocking. And I thought, bloody hell, she must have witnessed something shocking. <laughs> I could just tell. I was like, Poirot, is shocking, is shocking, shocking, is shocking. And I felt went, what? And she pointed, right? What do you think would massively made her explode in this crazed outburst of screeching hysteria? Yeah, shocking, shocking, yeah, shocking. He went, what? And she went, ee. And there was a pudsy bear, right? <laughs> Collecting for charity. She went, ee, look at that pudsy. How are they? He's not even wearing his eye patch. <laughs> Pudsy was committing benefit fraud. <laughs> he is shocking. He stood there and I, I just, That's him shaking a bucket, by the way. I just... God, you're just filth down here, aren't you? Oh, yeah, what's Pudsy doing? <laughs> no, stop it now. <laughs> that's him. <laughs> Wanking off Terry Wogan. No, no, no. It's a hell of a way to start children in need, isn't it? <laughs> ah. Oh, would you, would you look at that there? <laughs> oh. Oh, I can't believe it there. Would you, would you look down? Oh, have a look at all. Oh, pudsy there. <laughs> Talking away. Talking away on the old fella. Oh, that's it, pudsy. Oh, I love it. Oh. oh, it's bloody lovely. <laughs> I don't mind telling you, that's how he lost his eye. <laughs> no, not cut, no, don't. No need, you've dragged it down, you've dragged it down. Pure filth. The, and here's the thing, right? Here's the time I can say, Taz Tiny on the stage! Relax, loads of time. The, um, do you know it's against the law for charity collectors to shake a bucket? They're not allowed to, to, with the money, to make a shaky... What sort of world are we living in where charities can't shake a bucket? And more to the point, what do the Parkinson's charities do? Because... <laughs> when you think about it... Because... <laughs> that's two campaigns working against each other. I don't think it's right. <laughs> Hang on a sec, I'm going to have to... Thanks. Uh, there. Stop. That's a tribute to Jack Douglas there, for, for the older people. Right. Oh, well done. Uh, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Somebody has taken two sweets and created a Toblerone Rolo combo. <laughs> Thank very much. Thanks to the four people that know what that's about. <laughs> Just put that back there later. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well done! <laughs> Fucking hell, you cheeky bastard! <laughs> in the darkness. I put that off the wow you might and then it went straight up the I think we could end the night there to be honest with you. I think we've all had one money's worth there. Oh bloody hell what's quite scary is somebody here has created another Tobler Run Rolo combo but a much bigger box and they've melted Tobler Runs and Rolos together. I oh, ain't wasting that up an octopus's anus. <laughs> <laughs> it's not every day you get to say that. <laughs> not wasting that up an octopus's anus. <laughs> <laughs> the original words of the Beatles song. <laughs> In an octopus's anus. Thing. I like to be. Oh no. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> What the hell is this here? We thought you would give you a gift that, what? Find just <coughs> addictive as your kinder eggs. Oh wow, some sort of uh, 
Japanese strawberry flavoured sticks. <laughs> Unusual, but thanks. So, oh, oh, is a kinder egg, some flying saucers. Oh, that's nice, some whole soothers. Thank you. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> what a lovely gift they've got. Oh, he's got a bit of a sore throat. <laughs> Just put some soothers on the stage. <laughs> Yeah, I, that's a nice gesture, but at the same time, I don't know if you've noticed, I'm a bit busy chatting at the moment. I, I could put it in, but I'm like... Oh, God, it's got a speech impediment. I found this monkey in lost property and thought you might like it. Oh, thanks for that. I do like it, yes. Yeah, oh, yes. I imagine that's the sort of noise that the child who lost it... <laughs> ..probably made. Now it's been given to me. Dear Ross, here is what we think. All right, I'll say, oh, very nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> very clever. The, uh, what is that? Don't know. <laughs> All that. I have to speed this section up, you know, for fear that you're essentially watching a man tidying up. <laughs> it's a bit weird that somebody's just put a a book called The Prophet on the stage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> nah, fuck it. To be honest with you, I've got nothing against people believing in what whatever they want, but I, I don't really want devout Muslim women turning up to me gigs, purely because it, it muffles the laughter. It just, <laughs> I, don't, I don't want that. Should have a little flap just there, just as a... <laughs> Must... what? Uh... Oh, very good. Ross, moustache sporting footballer from the 1960s slash 70s who played for Swindon, Crystal Palace and QPR, Don Rogers. Well done. <laughs> That's a peculiar thing. Somebody's placed a, what has got to be the shittest cheese board ever. <laughs> it's on a lovely linen cloth, piece of cheese, some, and then just next to it, a note, a hundred kroner note from the Bank of Denmark. <laughs> Is this like something that a killer would leave next to a body? <laughs> is, is that what Jack Frost has got to work out what the... He's Danish and he likes cheese. <laughs> oh, you were up all night working that one out, Jack. Right, let's just... Thank. Somebody else has put popcorn, an arrow of popcorn. Sorry, I'm just going to have to... <laughs> what? It's only popcorn. Jesus Christ, I can't have it on me. This is my area. Uh, somebody's put a five pound... Oh, now my feet's all covered in bloody stickiness. <laughs> oh, I'll have that fiver, though. <laughs> Here's a winner. Right. Uh, what? Take a course. You have an interview. You get a card. <laughs> Oh, God, the Danish cheese board killer's left another clue. <laughs> First, I think it's meant to be read in a Danish accent. The, uh, right, I'll put that and that in there. That's lovely. Uh, Ross, left the dinosaur on stage for you, but it's new. What? <laughs> but now it's gone. Can you find it, please? No. <laughs> Put shit on the stage, I keep it. That's, that's the way it works. Let me point out this is a theatrical space, not a fucking charity shop. <laughs> the, uh, that's what we do. The back of the theatre has been has been converted to a PDSA. The hell is that? Oh, oh it's my own laces. <laughs> I appear to be losing my fucking mind. Right. Excellent bit of tidying there. Now then, what was I, what was I talking about before I... Oh, shit. Right, so, big nutty poo. 
the... Oh shit, what have you forgotten? You cheeky fucker! <laughs> oh, I thought I'd have to go. All right, bloody hell! Look, he completely blanked it from... Have you been on the sauce? <laughs> it's what? Corruption in the brain. Oh, you're talking your technical term. Oh, look, the pensioner has readjusted his hat. <laughs> it's lovely, it's like a visor. When I kicked that popcorn off, did you just... <laughs> <laughs> there will be no flying kernels in my face. <laughs> Up in Yankee to a fucking Africa! Jesus Christ, you'd think we were at a, at a Toto gig. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens all the way through. Just trying to sing a song. Hey, I've got some songs I'd like to sing you about other continents I've visited. <laughs> Africa! Sing Africa! No, I've got a new one. Asia, Asia. <laughs> it's really, 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 really good. Asia, it's Africa! Oh, for fuck's sake. Wild dogs cry out in the night. Oh, boy, it's waiting there for you. Just this conversation. I mean, I must do what's right. Don't know the words. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> I mean, him out of Toto probably does. <laughs> you know, he just comes on with an iPod on like that and just mumbles up to the. <laughs> I think I've created a new form of entertainment. An entire band, and all they do is mumble up to and then sing the bit they know. That would be great. I'm a broken man. I'm sensing it might not catch on. It's just the most retarded thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Sorry, and those young people again. Who the fuck are Toto? <laughs> you know, they bless the rains down in Africa. Like a hundred million men would ever know. Ooh, uh, uh. <laughs> Tonight on The X Factor, performing live, Toto! <laughs> anyway, the, um, yes, oh, yeah, right, no, there's... That's mine, not the thing I was going to tell you, but I will get to that. <laughs> oh, there's a fucking surprise. <laughs> fucking ridiculous, this. It's just going to go on and on forever and ever. The, um, you know what, the, bit, the greatest bit of tech, like I said, I'm a little bit obsessed with Africa, and uh, the greatest bit of telly I ever saw, it was, it was on recently, right? And, I, like, I'm not some Murdoch puppet, right? But I would happily advertise Sky Plus. For, if they could show this clip and then cut to me going <laughs> and then diving for the remote control and then pressing the button and just screaming at the camera Sky Plus Pulse! Right? What it was, right? I was watching this I know it's not exactly going to make it as an advert but <laughs> Sky Plus! <laughs> it's so mad stuff on the day Sky Plus! I was watching this documentary, right, about these African tribes women, right? And they, um, they were those, you know the bouncy dancy women? You know the sort of, you know those, oh, yeah, no, yeah, those, the, the, no, that, that's not what they're called. The, so, uh, Billy P saying, that's not right, you shouldn't be saying. I'm not taking the piss, I'm just saying they dance and they bounce, that's what they do. I mean, obviously, it's, I'm not doing the fuck show of that. Uh, and now, we'll have a look at some bouncy dancing women. <laughs> they, they had a name, but I sort of started... But it, you know, they were, those ones. You know, like on the start of... Um, you know, on BBC, where there's those... Two, hey, these ones weren't the ones with the, with the outfits on, right? They were... The top left. Now, how can I put this? They were the ladies with the... Um, 
the long boots, right? You know the, <laughs> yeah, you know the long, the long, the flat, the long flat boobs, right? You know the, the long, the flat, oh, flat, long, long flat boobs, right? <laughs> That's not again, that didn't. Hello, we're here with this child. As you can see, these women are long flat boobs! No, they were the long flat, long, but flat, long boobs, right? That, you never see those boobs anywhere else but on these documents, right? The long, flat, they've never even seen a bra, these women, right? The, um, I don't know how you'd get boobs like that into a bra, bra to be fair. You'd have to fold them like that, you'd have to... <laughs> you'd have to be quick, away. You could put strings on them and bring them up like Venetian blinds. <laughs> Straight up! <laughs> oh, they'd be a nightmare to dust. <laughs> <laughs> who's dusting their boobs? Who's, who's going out? Are we going out dancing tonight? Yeah, I'll be with you in a minute. I've, I've got terribly dusty boobs. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> I believe that was what Ted Rogers was going to do before he got the bin. Tonight's show takes place in the 70s. <laughs> it's dusty boobs. No, the, um, do you dust it? I don't know. Anyway, do, I mean, you know, I'm not stopping you, you know, feminists. No, we're not, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Got me hand trapped in a giraffe's off, and my boobs are dusty. It's a bloody nightmare. Sure. So they had the long, the boobs, right? And uh, the, oh, you could roll them, I suppose. That would work. <laughs> just get the bra ready and then just... <laughs> Play the music! I'm ready for dancing! <laughs> The, um, no, but it got a long but knockers, right? I'm not having to go, I'm just... But the thing is, right, if your dance, if, if you've got long, flat boobs, would you really have a traditional dance that involved doing this? <laughs> I mean, sure, that's asking for trouble, surely. I mean, surely you want more of a... this sort of thing. <laughs> you know, like a... The, just... So anyway, I started watching it, right? This should be the advert. All four women standing there, and they started, they started the dance. Right? And they, they, they're bouncing, right? And as you would expect, the knockers, oh, they were unruly. They were... They're going, they're going for it, right? Honestly, it was like a round of applause. The, 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 I'm surprised they didn't stop and go, oh, we're going down well, who's that? Oh, oh. oh stop, just stop again, dance again. Oh, can you hear it? It's... Oh, no, it keeps stopping every time we... They'll be dancing more. Oh, the applause is getting louder. So anyway, the four of them, right? Four of them in a line doing this dance, right? And I'm, obviously, I was transfixed. I was, I was hypnotised. I was just staring at the... And then I noticed, right, the woman on the end here, I don't know how she did it. I don't know whether it was some sort of, like, whether it was skill or just pure fluke, right? I looked along, and they're all dancing away, and then the woman on the end, her knockers, got out of sync, right? They got, they got out of sync! What? How did, how did she man? I couldn't, I'm staring at how she learned to do that, did she? Is it like a little hip flick and she just gets them? Is it a shoulder thing? Like, I mean, I don't know, ladies, practice at home. The, for fuck's sake, don't tweet me the results. But, the, so, so the knockers are out of But then I noticed the woman on this end, her knockers were out of sync. Now I'm looking, going, surely not. And I noticed, one by one, each of these women, through their dancing, somehow, the boobs were no longer in time. Not just with...
themselves but with each other. The knockers will over, and then it happened. This should be the advert. Cut to me on the couch. All four of them in a line, all knockers. I was saying, humble, humble. This is the point. I was just everything lined up perfectly, and the boobs did a Mexican wave. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But, uh, no, what happened to me, right, was, uh, oh, oh, where's she going? Oh, no. <laughs> are, you, are your boobs out of sync? <laughs> was that a bloke? <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry, man. Oh, I'm never so sorry. Oh, man. Oh, you with the lady. <laughs> I thought you was an angry tribeswoman who I will not stand for this. <laughs> anyway, so, no, uh, Twitter, that's what I was going to tell you about. I got in trouble on the Twitter. The, do you remember? No. <laughs> but just, actually, uh, speaking, uh, talking about iPhones, and when I was in Africa, right, well, there was loads of things that happened, but I was, we went on this safari, it was me and a couple of mates, and we uh, went on this safari um, drive thing. And we, and we, it was us, and we just, you know, animals, animal, in it, you know, whatever. Oh, we're that giraffe. How's it, Tars? No, fine. And we were sat on this, on this thing, the uh, Land Rover thing. And the little fella that on the front, he goes, if you are like to look, I'll just shut your face before you even start. <laughs> oh, what, really? You're going to do the voice? It's fine. It's a perfect impersonation. Unfortunately, it's a perfect impersonation of Nelson Mandela. <laughs> the, Where's she going? Is that shit scarf open again? Shop? <laughs> the shop open late? <laughs> shit, you can. She won't get far. I've had the bugs refrigerated. She can have vanilla ice and a midwife she'll never piss. <laughs> so we sat there. What the fuck am I doing this voice for? Hello, my name is Nelson Mandela. <laughs> and when I am not... <laughs> once I got released from prison, I decided to show people around on safari buses. <sighs> Stop doing the voice now, Ross. <laughs> We're on this safari thing. And it was all, you know those dickheads with the big, the big lenses and all that, the big camera lenses and that? And I'm just, we just sat there. We hadn't seen anything for about two hours. And I was a bit poor and I was sort of sat there. I thought, ooh, hang on. And there was just like a, a load of trees over there. And I reached into my pocket. We hadn't seen anything for ages, right? And my mates are sat there. And just, the bloke kept pointing out birds. Birds are not animals, mate! I'm not interested! I want teeth and fucking blood dripping off the teeth and brrr, jumping on zebras and shagging and that's what I like to think. Oh, I want a bird sitting in a tree. For oh, fuck's sake, I'll just go down the bloody chicken aisle in Sainsbury's and <laughs> put one on top of the freezer section. You ever that one up there? Oh, not interested in the... Oh, sorry, what? Just like goths, perching on the freezer section and saying, yeah. Just like goths, you're right, mate. Back away slowly. The, um, <laughs> so anyway, so I'm sat there, I hadn't seen any animals at all. And I reached into my pocket, right, and I was dicking about with my iPhone. And then I remembered, right, as I was flicking around, I found an app on there which I used for the human baby child that I've got. And she, like, she's only two, by the way. She's not like 14 and a dickhead. She, um, the, the, I've got this app, and it's, it's pictures of animals, and you press it like a cartoon, and it shows you a picture of the animal, and it makes a noise. <laughs> I thought, fuck it, this could be a laugh, so I get the phone out. And I press the lion. And it went 
and the bloke, the safari fella, went. <laughs> and everyone on the safari thing went. <laughs> what is it? And he went, yes, I heard a lion. <laughs> and they go, Ray, what I pressed it again. <laughs> I, I thought I'd been rumbled, right? He went, <laughs> and he pointed at me. And I went, oh shit, he knows I'm dicking about. And, I went, you know, and he went, it's coming from over there. <laughs> I thought, oh, are you ready? So I pressed the elephant. <laughs> elephant! <laughs> Over there! I mean, I don't know where I thought these creatures were. There's only like one bush. <laughs> like there's a lion like this behind the tree. <laughs> with, a, with an elephant behind there. There's a giraffe. <laughs> get the head down! Get the fuck, sorry! all in the line, right? But all these dickheads with cameras swung the cameras around, pointing at the trees, right? Now, I felt really bad when he got on the radio and informed all the other safari tour people <laughs> in the park that there was a selection of the full big five within audio range. Oh, God, I felt bad. I felt even worse when I accidentally pressed the chicken. <laughs> anyway, the Twitter, that's what I was telling you about. The, uh, <laughs> oh, what a lovely... She, she just had a lovely little snog of that fella there. That's what you always just... Whenever you hear a story a bit of, about a bit of safari hijinks, you know. Oh, can I give you a little kiss? Or does animals hiding turn you on? Because that's, that's freaking me out there. He's walking home, shit, I'm gonna have to just get that rabbit, put it in a drawer. <laughs> Cat in a bin. <laughs> oh, I can't help myself. Oh, animals hiding. Kiss me again. Oh, I can't help myself! Oh, badger in an oil drum! <laughs> <laughs> Stuck in a shoebox! It's in there, is it? Oh. <laughs> you dirty bastard. What? That's your sister! Second, he was not on the kiss tap. Just relax. Oh God Almighty! Oh God! It's a, it's an evening with Fred West. <laughs> so, the, sorry, I do apologise. And I just point out, I am joking. I'm not seriously suggesting that your sister gets all horny because somebody put a stud in a shoebox. <laughs> I don't want to think of my sister in a sexual way. Don't want to think about it. Well, you're going to have to get a glass hutch then. <laughs> what? Did he just say a glass hutch? I think he did. Anyway, the fuck was I on about? <laughs> oh, yes, Twitter. Thank you very much. The, uh, for God's sake. The, sorry, I didn't mean to talk about your sister in a in a sexual way. Oh, eh? <coughs> Bet your mum's a goer, though. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just, I, I've never even met your mum. <laughs> oh, God, even Alan's going, whoa, whoa. Oh, sorry, have you met his mum? <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what I call networking. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to create imagery. Your mum. <laughs> Get me on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I got me 15 shoe boxes. <laughs> I got me a leather bag of stoats. 
One stoat hidden, two stoat hidden, three stoat hidden, four stoat hidden, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the stoats. All the stoats hidden away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the irony is, that's her mum as well. <laughs> Shocking. Anyway, the, uh, uh, could this have got any wronger if I tried? <laughs> Probably. No, let's not go there. The, uh, eat your pastilles, old man. Eat those pastilles. ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> that flat cap. <laughs> right. I was on a Twitter, right, on my iPhone. Like I say, I've got an iPhone, and I don't care who knows it, because a lot of people you find out you've got an iPhone, and like, I've got an iPhone, I've got an iPhone. Yes, because it's better than the other phones. I don't give a shit. I know you techie people. Oh, I think you'll find the fucking Google fucking bin. Fuck off. Right. <laughs> Google, right, people say, oh, the Google phone's better. No, the Google phone, as far as I'm concerned, is the most ridiculous name for a phone ever. iPhone works. iPhone, cool, iPhone. Google phone. The Google phone to me just sounds like a bizarre German brass instrument. <laughs> Klaus, bring out the Google phone! That's how you play a Google phone. It's not easy, I have to tell you. It's not easy. You've got to pump the bellows there, get the bellows going, and then you have to wind the handle like that, and then every now and again, punch someone in the face. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's because it's because everyone wants to play the Google phone. Claps, claps, let me have a go on the Google phone. <laughs> there, like that. Oh, piss off! <laughs> if you go to a Google phone recital, of which there are many. It's just one man playing the Google phone and then just a big pile of unconscious Germans. <laughs> I'm very sorry, Gunther, I'm very sorry. Oh, that was a little bit of a jazz move, is <laughs> Oh, yeah. I got skills. I know you're looking at me like I'm a dickhead. <laughs> I'll just find something out. The Google phone is harder than it looks. Yeah. Look at you. He's a knob. <laughs> Just let me point something out, eh? Before the night is out, you'll have all tried it. <laughs> Some of you won't even make it to the car. <laughs> Here, hold my bag. <laughs> it's harder than it looks, isn't it? I'm gonna have to do that at home, I'm gonna have to practice. <laughs> Probably a dilemma for some of you, isn't it? Some of you might be on a date tonight, hoping for a bit of cheeky, cheeky late night fun, you know? To invite it in, you know, would you like to come in for some coffee? <laughs> coffee? <laughs> well, we're gonna snort coffee, no. <laughs> coffee. Sex. <laughs> Sex. Oh, you want me to shag you up the nose? No, I'm... <laughs> sex. No, sex, no. Not nosy sex. Just, look, do you want a shag? Do you want a shag? And you'll be thinking, I do want a shag, but at the same time, you'll be thinking, but I want to practice me Google for. <laughs> you'll be going into the flex. I'm just going to use your toilet. <laughs> Talking to the imaginary audience that I've knocked through in the bathroom, <laughs> punching all the gels and shampoos <laughs> into the toilet bowl. No, all I'm saying is you wanna, you wanna just make love and then Google phone. <laughs> just it's like a slogan, hey, 
make love, then go to <laughs> uh, No, have the love making, and then uh, don't, don't, for God's sake, don't try and use it as foreplay. <laughs> it doesn't work. Stood there nude. Get on the bed, hey? <laughs> Do you like what you see, though? <laughs> so that's... Just wait, don't. Just make love, then get the Google phone and go in. Whatever you do, don't try and... Don't try and Google phone during sex. Whatever happens, that'll... It's too hard to... Uh, I mean, you could have a go. You could. You have to be in the right position. You'd have to... You'd have to be in the... A doggy style. <laughs> You'd have to don't do that. Or don't <laughs> turn to your partner and say, "Do you like to?" <laughs> <laughs> do you mind putting this small barrel of brandy around your neck? There's a doggy style. And just... That bit's easy. You'd get away with that. You'd be laughing there, that'd be dead easy. The, this bit's a bit harder. I mean, I'm, not, I'm not trying to encourage the kinky, the kinky sex. You might like to just incorporate that, just, just into a slap. Just a... I'll be honest, the punch is probably the hard bit. That's the, that's the hard bit, isn't it? That's the... What the hell? Are you Google phoning me? <laughs> it's very hard to punch somebody in the head. No matter what sex, we're enduring the lovemaking. And uh, can always say that you're a Premiership footballer. <laughs> oh, what, oh, have I gone too far now? Oh no, we don't mind you taking the piss out of the kiddie fiddling priests. But no, don't, don't be. Don't be mean about those lovely footballers. <laughs> They're all fine, upstanding young men who have nothing but respect for ladies. And their behaviour is always very much virtuous to all. <laughs> Bunch of overpaid tax-avoiding rapists. <laughs> you, um, uh, <laughs> Essentially, what I'm saying is, Get an iPhone. <laughs> I mean, it would be if Google got together with the people at Apple and just combined their resources and released the Googly iPhone. <laughs> Why not? Anyway, I got in trouble on the Twitter because what I was doing was, uh, he's finally got back to this. He can tell us and we can all go back to our villages and farms. <laughs> now, what it was, I'm doing this... And by the way, if you, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you have to follow real Ross Noble. Don't send messages to Ross Noble. It's just a bloke in Canada trying to live his life. <laughs> he's getting one or two odd things sent through to him. We'll have to tonight. Dear Ross, I was Google phoning my wife this evening <laughs> when I accidentally punched an ornament off the sideboard. <laughs> what was that? Someone went, oh! But you were more worried about the ornament breaking <laughs> than a bloke punching you in the head during sex. Good to see you've got your priorities straight. <laughs> Anyway, the point is, I was, on the, I was on the tweets, right? And what I would do, right, is I would get all my... I did it for a while, I had to stop it because it got out of control. I'd get all my followers to bombard one person or organisation, right? It was the best one ever, right? Until it went too far. We did MPs, Doritos! We did do, Why have Doritos got a Twitter account for fuck's sake? <laughs> do any up-to-the-minute snack-based information? <laughs> Oh, I wonder if them cheese ones are still tangy. Oh, we're fine. <laughs> but no one knew it was coming from me, so they just all of a sudden got hundreds of messages. <laughs> Dear Doritos, I have got a much-loved family pet moth. 
He was recently involved in a terrible accident and lost a wing. Could one of your corn chip snacks be used as a prosthesis? <laughs> enabling him to live a normal moth life. <laughs> Dear Doritos! I recently purchased one of your packets. When I opened it, I found one of the snacks was broken. <laughs> what is your returns policy? <laughs> We, we did the BNP. Oh, that was fun. Oh, well, it was counterproductive because they can't read, but <laughs> it was brilliant, right? They, were, they must have been freaked out just because they obviously thought, let's get a bloody Twitter account. That'll spread our message. <laughs> I think we put them back a few days. <laughs> they would have been sitting there like, oh, those symbols are back. Turn it off. <laughs> oh, the screen's black. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's white again. It's white again. <laughs> so we sent them these messages. I started the ball rolling. I was pleased with it. Dear BMP, I have just had a massive Chinese meal. And now I am mainly Chinese. <laughs> Would you like me to fuck off out the country <laughs> until I have done a massive poo? <laughs> so, <laughs> and then everyone started joining me. Dear BMP, I've been to the local solarium and have a lovely time. Could you tell me at what point it will be safe to leave my house again? <laughs> well, you fucking idiots punching me in the face. <laughs> So we did, uh, and anyway, the point where I went too far was I did Duncan Bannertine <laughs> from Dragon's Den. Turns out, you know that grumpy bastard character that he plays on the telly? Not a character. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, all of them dragons are fucking idiots, right? The, the, the Jones one, I don't mind him. That Khan, Jim, this is a true story, you might have read this in the paper. James Khan was doing a bit of charity work and he tried to buy a baby. Do you about that? He tried to buy, he had 750 quid in his pocket, he was in Pakistan, and he said to this woman, newborn baby, I'll buy your child. What sort of fucking idiot? Some millionaire dickhead just wanted to, oh, darling, yeah, don't you fucking worry about it. There you go. Here's 750 fucking quid. I'll take the baby off your fucking lovely. You take that, get your fucking tits down. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Fucking, fucking... I would have liked to have seen the footage, actually, just to hear the voiceover. James Khan has offered 750 pounds for 100% of the baby. <laughs> Will any of the other dragons match his offer? Hey, I've seen your baby. I've got a baby the same as your baby at home. It does all the same things that that baby does. It shits and pisses itself. But my baby doesn't need vaccinations. So, on that basis, I'm out. <laughs> so, But Bannertine really didn't find the funny side. Dear Duncan Bannertine, I have an idea for Dragon's Ten. I've come up with an idea for gloves with no fingers. <laughs> I would like seven pounds for 100% of my business. <laughs> or just send me some gloves. <laughs> he was furious, right? He got more furious when I sent him one. I said, dear Duncan, I've come up with an idea for the Duncan Bannertine clock. You could sell it on the hour, every hour, a bit like a cuckoo clock, the front opens up, your face comes out and sings, stop, Bannertine! <laughs> <laughs> And like I say, normally, I'm a very lovely, friendly man. But 
I thought of something to send to him. <laughs> send him this back. Dear Duncan, read the Bannertown clock. Why not save money? Instead of making a clock, just sell a normal clock with a really fucking miserable face. <laughs> 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 